We are back at the Green River Ordnance Plant near Amboy, Illinois. This was an 8,000 plus acre plant that made ordnance for World War II. Approximately 420 structures. At its peak time, there was about 4,500 workers at this plant. We have posted many videos on this ordnance plant. This time we're going to tour one of the assembly buildings, also called lines. From all the research that we've done, we believe this is line number seven. See, I can't figure out exactly what was going on in each one of these. I'm thinking they were making weapons. We now know there were seven lines. Line number one made 90 millimeter armor piercing shells. Line number two made medium caliber armor piercing shells. Line number three armor piercing bombs and large caliber armor piercing shells. Line number four, rifle grenades. Line number five, rifle grenades. Line number six, fuses. And line number seven, bazooka rockets. Notice the thick walls. Pretty sure they're there to contain any explosions. And then this is what I had no idea. Almost feels like it was a conveyor. Yep. Powder shell cases and projectiles came in at one end and finished product rolled off the other. I believe we entered probably where the product was finished. Say that again? You want to mix it? I haven't, yeah, but let's go this way. Let's go uncharted. Each line had its own entrance and change house. In one of the previously posted videos, you can get a tour of the change house. So this is almost like a covered bridge. Be careful. Hey, if you get a chance, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.
There's something. I don't know what those are. This is gas. Yeah, stay away from that stuff. Workers in rooms where explosives were handled wore special shoes that did not have nails in their heels or soles. In the heel of a shoe, there was a piece of brass that made contact between the wearer and the floor in order to discharge static electricity and prevent sparks. This is like another tunnel. Here's an awesome photo. No matches were allowed on the job. Carrying matches meant instant dismissal. Because workers were restricted to their lines, one hot meal was brought from the cafeteria during each eight-hour shift. The line dining rooms were equipped with picnic tables. The Stuart Warner Corporation entered into a cost-plus fixed-fee contract to operate the Green River Ordnance Plant. No, this is the far, far end. We've made it all the way to the garbage dump. So you could have parked, you could have parked over here. Yeah, this is a garbage dump out here now. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's electrical up there. Put the light on the barrel. See if they say anything. Oh. There's a W. Be careful standing up. I'm like leaning above me. Gotcha. Hey, what's on the left? There's a logo. Glidden. That's paint. That's new. These people could be throwing garbage out in these things. <laughs> Nothing cool on this side. No. See, like there's a heating. That's kind of cool. That would have kept the building warm. These are always good photos. Put some light on it. Yeah, did you get a picture from this side? Yeah, I did, but I didn't know that. That one lit. You can't really get in where these chutes are at. And you dropped something. I did? I feel like you did, maybe not. A glove, something, though? No? 